Welcome back to another video guys, I'm Dirt with Shatterproof Leather and today we're going to be talking all about dye. Alright, so the first thing we're going to show you is how to dye your leather the standard way. We got some natural veg tan leather here. We got a bottle of dye. We just need to take any type of applicator, uh, whether it is a foam brush, a paper towel, a rag, a dauber. You may be asking yourself, what's the difference? What's gonna happen if I use different things? I'm gonna show you a foam brush. I'm gonna show you a rag and I'm gonna show you the dauber. So we've got three pieces of leather here. I'm gonna be using the same dye. This is just a medium brown and this is a water-based dye. See, we got the two done. We're gonna go ahead and use the foam brush on the third one. And uh, I'm trying to apply them about the same, but we're all gonna be a little bit different on how we apply. So this will vary a little bit between me and you. And the best way to figure out what you want is to just do what I'm doing and do a sample run on a couple pieces. And that way you kind of know what you're gonna be getting beforehand. The next way we're gonna try is we're actually gonna dilute the dye, now you're gonna want a water-based dye if you do this, but we're just gonna add a little bit of water to it and hopefully lighten it up. Now the reason I'm showing you this is say you bought some dye but you want some different color options in your leather projects. Say you made a knife sheath and you made it a nice rich dark brown but now you're making a wall and you want a lighter brown. So I've got about two ounces of water here in this jar and we're just gonna add some dye here and we're just gonna mix this up a little bit. And then we're gonna apply it just the same way we did with the other dyes, just a light coat across the top, and we'll let it dry. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do two different pieces. I'm gonna do one with a lighter solution and then one with a heavier solution, more dye. The final way we're going to dye this leather is we're going to be using a rag, but we're going to do this a little differently. So I took this rag, I fold it in half, and we're just going to roll it up. Actually, I'm going to fold it in half again. And then once we get it rolled up, we want to kind of leave it uneven a little bit. We'll go ahead and wrap a rubber band around it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually daub this on the leather just like that. And it's going to leave kind of a pattern uh, that's a little more unusual. on one side and fade to a lighter color on the other side. You can also do the same thing but heavier around the edges. Um, depending on what kind of project you have, this could look really good. We'll let this dry like this and we'll probably go over it one more time just to hit these little light spots and we'll just do a little bit less dye. That way we still have a dark to light fade and we kind of see those ripples, if you will, in the dye and that's gonna make for a really cool texture on your leather. While I'm letting these dyes dry, I wanted to take a quick second and give you guys a couple of tips. So if you noticed in the belt making video, I actually wet the leather beforehand, before I even started dyeing. And what that did is it soaked into the leather, opening the pores, but also making an even coat. So that way if some portions of that leather are more dry than others, then you're not gonna get uneven looks. I didn't do that here, but that will help make your leather projects look more even when you go to dye. We're gonna go ahead and add our second coat right now, and then we'll let that dry and see how she looks. So this is the one that we used the towel dauber, if you will. And we're gonna go over it one more time. We're just gonna do the same thing. 
we're gonna daub it really hard over here and then we're just gonna kind of touch it up on this side that way all the leather is dyed but we kind of have a darker area just like that so that is how that one is done and we'll let that dry and see how it turns out we've got all of our dyes applied and now they have dried so now let's take a look at them and see the differences between each method and then you can choose which method you like the most or what color you're trying to get variety of shade from one bottle of dye. What that means is if you don't want to spend a lot of money on buying a bunch of different dyes but you want to mix up your colors a little bit, this is a good way to do that. I really like the way that the cloth dauber turned out. It, it looks like it has a really nice texture to it but it really doesn't. Leather is very smooth but it looks like it's got like this just rustic texture which is cool now something you can remember is that this project is yours so if you want to change this up a little bit feel free and play around with it and I just gave you some ideas there's a multitude of ways that you can dye leather and these are just a few that I've done in the past that I like guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope you learned a little something about dyeing leather I hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching I'm for you and uh, we'll see you on the next video